Hello, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing the Star Wars, the art of Star Wars, episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. It's got some special edition stuff. It's edited by uh, Deborah Cole, text by Vicky Bullock, Bullock and Valerie Hoffman. Additional text by Mark. Could a Zaz? Vaz? It's the spine. You can see the uh, ISBN right there. Try to get the glare off. Of course, there's the ISBN right there. I guess you want to try to find it and get your own copy of this. Spell Del Rey. Of course, I already said it had the special edition trilogy stuff in it. All right, let's get in it. Oops. This is a cool page. I like how they, I like how sometimes they'll do little, how it, the, how it was drawn with the angles and the circles and the radiuses and the, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, the uh, originally published a somewhat different form by Bulletin Books in 1980. This one was done in 1997 because of the special edition, edition of the special edition. <laughs> okay, here's the introduction. I am not going to read all that. It mentions uh, how it's more, their um, studio is more uh, permanent than uh, transitory, like in the, uh, when they did uh, the original Star Wars A New Hope. Here's Hoth edition. I had uh, also these Ralph McCrory paintings in a, in a portfolio that, because the, I had the New Hope portfolio, I had the Empire Strikes Back portfolio. I think I had the, uh, Return of the Jedi portfolio by Rob Cray, I think. I'll have to look at that book. I'll comment on on that when I uh, get to that book. Some uh, sketches, thumbnails by Rob Cray and Joe Johnston of the um, spy probe or whatever they call it here. Some detailed drawings drafted so that they could build the, um, the probe in question, the specifications of, could be metric. I don't, can't really read it, the uh, measurements. I got a stamp by chapter two productions. I believe that's what it was called. If I'm not mistaken, Blue Harvest was what the uh, production for the uh, Return of the Jedi was called. Matte painting. I'm guessing it's by Rob Cray. Let's see if Hoth background painting. Mike Pangzago. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Hoth background painting by Mike Pangzago. How do you say that name? Pan Glazio. Yeah, that sounds right. Howard Stein, I think. Maybe he photographed it. Maybe that's one or the other. I guess these are reference photographs, unless those are paintings. If their paintings are really good, it could be reference photographs. That's the uh, Tauntaun. If this these uh, preliminary sketches of the Tauntaun by Phil Tippett. He was a uh, creature effects artist, if I'm not mistaken. That's primarily what he did, I think. Some more sketches by Joe Johnston. Ralph McCray did a preliminary drawing. I think that's the, uh, this one could be the, um, no, maybe not. 
one and two, that's these, or Joe Johnston, three, two, seven, yeah, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. These are all Rock McCrory, including this one, and these two were done by Joe Johnston. Okay, that's Phil Tippett. I recognize him from from a behind the scenes edition. That's a photograph of the full scale Tauntaun designed and constructed by Norman Reynolds and Stuart Freeborn. A little thumbnail there. Not really sure how that was drawn by. Probably um, Rob Cray's famous for his little thumbnails. The skeleton to to support the Tauntaun before um, they put the um, mechanics and the uh, fur on it. Two, did the two. Little armatured diagram of early Tauntaun. Steve Cooper under the direction of Norman Reynolds. I think Norman Reynolds was the production designer. Could be wrong. These are more um, construction drawings. There's three elevations of ice corridor. Ted Ambrose under the direction of Norman Reynolds. Yeah, he was the production designer then. Because you have elevations of the. Uh, the in Hoth interior. It's a preliminary sketch of this painting. Pretty sure that was included in my uh, portfolio set. I would cry. Ooh. Costume sketches by John Molo. M O L L O. Molo. Other more um, thumbnail sketches. Yeah, thumbnail sketches of 21B Rob Cray. That's 21B, I would guess. I were familiar with uh, some of the Jordan names. I'm gonna skip a few pages once in a while. So, yeah. Uh, don't want to give it all away. Three. Three is John Mallow. This number four is a rough cry sketch of a stormtrooper. I guess that's Han Solo. I just, just listed as a rebel. Could easily be Han Solo. Here's the um, Hoth base. This is the uh, floor plan. Millennium Falcon. You have an uh, X-wing, three X-wings, as you can see from this elevation there. Then you got some um, speeders. Got the other elevation where you're looking out, and there's an X-wing there, and a uh, speeder there. Got three speeders here and two offset. Got corridors going off. Another production drawing. Some of these things they have to actually build, so getting specifications and planning out how the camera will work inside behind the cockpit so that they can uh, plan ahead. And at Walker's, the Rebel blockade runner, or Rebel transport, that's what it's called there. Sketches of Rebel Transport by Joe Johnston. The model was done under the direction of 
Lorraine Peterson. At least I hope I pronounced that name right. Star Destroyer. This is a sketch of the uh, Super Star Destroyer, I think, by Joe Johnston. This is a painting by Rob Curry. Yes, I think that's a production still. It's a matte painting, I think. Yeah, here's the, uh, not the real, this is the uh, matte painting part. These are the live action parts of it. Here's the uh, pit, I guess. Dagobah. I guess that's supposed to be Luke there. Yeah. It's the uh, sound stage. Got Yoda's house there, stage floor. You got the tank. And this is the wall for the uh, the, the uh, stage, the uh, studio building thing. Some early sketches. An early painting by Rob Cray. Here's some sketches. Joe Johnston and Rob Cray sketches. Nine was worth by Rob Cray. The others are by Joe Johnston. Nine. This one is by Rob Cray. And all the others are by Joe Johnston. One through eight and ten. Huh. Let's see if there's more. Yeah, more. See sketch one by Joe Johnston. Then two through four is Rob Cray. And Joe Johnston did three. This is the one by Joe Johnston. Three. Where is three? Three is Joe Johnston. And all the others were Rob Cray. I think that's one of the paintings that came with the portfolio, if I'm not mistaken. Got the asteroid belt. Oh, don't want to skip too much of that. Now you got the, uh, what are these calls? Minox. Yeah. Paintings. Purple Cray. Yeah. Yeah. This painting, that's the uh, Cloud City. It's another painting that uh, came with the portfolio. Joe Johnson designed the twin pod cloud car seen on the left amidst the cloud dust clouds. There's a uh, matte painting. Here's what it looked like on film, production still, or whatever you want to call it. Some sketches by Rob Curry and Joe Johnston. Joe Johnston did three and five. This is three, and that is five. Some more architectural drawings. The thumbnails of the, uh, what could have been. This is the one that is. One. All these are here. Or sketch thumbnail sketches of the uh, bipod cars by Rob Curry. Joe Johnston did two through four. Two through four. That's Joe Johnston from here to here. And for six, that's there. That's the bipod engine. That's designed by Joe Johnston. Uh, that's the dinner where they, uh, oh, yeah, they're all there. There's Boba Fett. I wonder if they use drawings, more drawings of Boba Fett. I think there's a, uh, some drawings of Boba Fett's helmet in here somewhere. There's uh, drawings of Slave One. Uh, maybe the, uh, I don't want to go back.
back a little to see if I can. Uh, I think it's this way. That's the uh, helmets. Yeah, there we go. Helmets of uh, Boba Fett. Some of those. Uh, yeah. Once you get to this area, it's pretty much just the. Um, more detailed and uh, with the emblems how they want to do that I think I want to say that's a matte painting on one yeah matte painting by Harrison uh, Allen Shaw more Boba Fett Number three, that's this one. Move it actions, sketched by Rob Curry, photographed by Bob Lazarn, airbrushed by Ron Larson, Bob Seedman. Joe Johnston did the number two sketches, that's these. And the sketches of the helmet, all these are Rob Curry. Storyboards. So many different um, angles and shots and uh, scenes and it's important to make sure you get that specific shot. That's why storyboards are done. Storyboard duel, storyboards duel of duel by Ivor Dibas, Didas. That's a matte painting by Rob Curry, of course. Not of course, but yeah. It's a detail of the window. Mm. Different sketches. I wonder who did all these. Rob Curry did four, four through seven. That's Rob Curry. Detail um, schematics, kind of like blueprints for the uh, camera angle for the um, confrontation on that uh, outcropping. There's the fall boxes, blue backing, stage floor, runners, there's the camera, camera 40 millimeter, four. Four feet six inches of the from the uh, boxes to the floor. Sixteen feet from the where he's his feet are on the uh, platform. Sixteen feet to the uh, top of the box fall boxes. From where um, Vader was standing talking to Luke is twenty three feet. And the approximate distance from the platform where Vader was to to the runners, where the camera is sitting, is 16 feet. Very detailed drawing of this one. Not sure. Number two, two construction drawings of reactor shaft wall and landing ports. Ted Ambrose under the direction of Norman Reynolds. Is that the uh, exterior? Yeah. Oh, yes. That scene where he's hanging off. Oh, yes. The camera angle setup of Luke hanging in reactor shaft. Ted, in the direction of Norman Reynolds. Get the camera angle here. Can't really read some of that. There's the camera again. Someone hanging over the side. They changed it slightly, of course, to look more like an antenna, I think. Would have looked like to me, anyways, when I watched the film. Oh, Rebel Cruiser. Skip the title page by accident. Biography. Ralph McCurry. Phil Tibbet. Joe Johnston. Um. 
Rob Curry, he uh, has credits for, uh, of course, Star Wars, Close Encounters, uh, Battlestar Galactica, the original, Phil Tippett with Piranha, other than Empress Rex back in Star Wars, George Johnston, a uh, art director, visual effects, um, he worked on the TV, made for TV movie remake of H.G. Wells War of the Worlds, Star Witch, Star Witch. He did work at um, Battlestar Galactica also. John Burr, stop motion animator. Nilo. But I'm not gonna try to assistant art director. Richard Edlund, he was the, uh, yeah, he was a very important for ILM, I think, if I'm not mistaken. He also worked on China Syndrome, Battlestar, Galactica. Bruce Nelson. Norman Reynolds, he was the uh, production designer. This person. Bruce Nicholson also worked on uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Norman Reynolds, he worked on Kelly's Heroes, Thunderball, A Warm December, Phase 3, no, that's 6, Phase 6, Co Princess, The Incredible Sarah, Lady Luck, Star Wars, Secret Man, and Project Back, and later worked on uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Dennis Muir, he's a important member of uh, Industrial Light Magic, if I'm not mistaken. He also worked with Don Draska on um, Close Encounters. Worked on uh, Willy Wonka, Battlestar, John Malo, Custom Designer, Charge of Light Brigade, Adventures of Gerald, Barry London, Landon, don't know how to say that one. I think I always get that one wrong. Stuart Freeman, makeup and special creature designer. The Deeds of Baghdad, Albert Twist. The Bridge Over the River Kwai. Dr. Strangelove. The Wind, the Wind the Lion. The Murder of the Iron Express. Murder on the Iron Express. Superman 2. Harrison Ellen Shaw. The Black Hole. It's a good movie. Big Wednesday, The Man Who Fell to Earth. I think that's the one with David Bowie in it. Pete's Dragon. Lauren Peterson, chief model maker, who's head of the ILM uh, model shop in um, China Syndrome, Close Accounts Third Kind, Space Academy, All Star. Uh, Brian Johnson. Special visual effects, Alien, Revenge of the Pink Panther, Medusa Touch, Space 1999. I have a toy from that uh, show. Glitter Ball, uh, Tamrit? I don't know how to say that one. Did I miss? Oh, Mike Pangoli, um, Matt Painter, Man from Atlantis. Star, Ivor Bed Does, Does, Sketch Artist. He worked on The Red Shoe, Cleopatra, Diamonds Are Forever, The Spy Who Loved Me, Dr. Strange Love, Casino Royale, Sleuth, The 7% Solution, The Yellow, Rolls Royce, A Shot in the Dark, Superman 1 and 2. Star Wars and Price Strikes Back. Oh, special edition. More of the um, Snow Monster guy. More of the Cloud City. Of the uh, Falcon flying through it, I remember. More of the two-seater um, thing, also 
to show off the uh, the city. More of the city. More and more of the city. Got more biographies. I'm not gonna go over those. And uh, there we go. Yeah, hope you win. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll uh, see you next time. All right.